What's going on guys? It's Valence and Bachner the video and today we're going to be doing a video on Fodor and we're going to be making a Halloween themed Fortnite wallpaper or even thumbnail or a YouTube banner. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications and leave a like on the video. And also, if you guys want to use this website and want more tutorials for this, you guys can also go onto their YouTube channel and they have a whole bunch of tutorials on how to use it. So it's really easy and let's jump into the video. So we're going to click on create a design and we're going to start from scratch or we can choose one of these templates and just start with that. I think I'm gonna choose, um, let's see. Let's create a YouTube channel art first. And we're gonna create a scary one for Halloween. So let's see which one we can choose. I think I'm gonna go with a okay. cookie. Okay, so we got this nice wallpaper and we're gonna switch it out with some Fortnite wallpapers. So I found an image on Google and I just downloaded it. So now we're gonna import it into Fodor. So here it is. This is a picture of Haunted Hills and we're gonna move it back. And there. Now we're gonna enlarge in the picture. There. Now instead of scary games, we're gonna type in um we're gonna type in my name. And we can remove games right there and there. We're gonna keep this pumpkin, we're gonna put it at the end right over there. And we're gonna type in um use code valence. And then we're gonna make it smaller because this is way too big. Now that's way too small. That looks like a good size. Actually, I don't really like the font. Let's change it. What's a nice Halloween themed one? Actually, this one is not that bad. Oh wait, I actually don't like that. That one's okay. That one's nice. This one's okay. Okay, I like this one. So we're gonna use that font and we're gonna leave it under here. We got some nice blood we can move that under um click on layers and move it behind the text and same with the other one and now like so if you guys don't really like the blood we can remove it and add our own stickers so we're going to click on delete, we're going to keep the blood on the pumpkin right here, right there. And we're going to go on stickers, and here we have all the new Halloween stickers. So we got some spooky dog ones, that's really cool. So instead of, if you have an O in your name, you guys can take this and like cover it like that and it'll look really sick. But since I don't have that, um, I'll just, I'll just get rid of the pumpkin. Bye bye pumpkin. And get rid of the blood too, or we're gonna put spooky right there. Let's, oh, we got some Halloween text. That's cool. We got some horrible Halloween night. Oh, this pumpkin's nice. 
Look at that. Let's move it back so it's behind the text. There, we got it behind the text. That's a nice pumpkin. And get rid of that one. And we actually got some nice fog. So we can enlarge it and then just like cover a whole bunch of this. And just move it back. There, now it has like that really like mysterious like foggy effect. That's really cool. We're gonna copy it. Let's paste it. Actually, I think we can duplicate it right there and just move it back there. We got Halloween retro style. We got um, a bird. Um, I don't really like birds, so we're going to get rid of it. We got some spider webs. So if you want to put some spider webs... There they are. Scared. We got scary Halloween night. Let's put a ghost. Ooh, that's nice. Let's move it behind. That's better. Bloody Halloween. We got spooky Halloween. Ooh, another. Ghost, maybe we can put it right there. And we got an eyeball. Let's put the eyeball like right in there, just for fun. Oh, we got some arms. I can put that right behind the E. So we're gonna move it back in the layers. We got face decorations, more Halloween stickers, we got some Halloween specials, these are like the Reaper pickaxes from Fortnite kinda. Let's try to add um, the raven skin to this image. So we're gonna go on Google and try to find a raven image. So instead of using the raven, I found a different skin. So we're gonna use that one instead because this one's cooler. And we're gonna enlarge it really big. And we're just gonna place it right there. Maybe I should move it behind. Yeah, there. So we can make this one smaller. Keep the eyes and stuff. And we can move this one around if I want. Actually, we'll make it smaller like that. Make this one smaller too. Move the spooky dog. Take the eyeball. Put it right there. Keep the ghost. And let's click on preview. And that's what it's gonna look like. On that's perfect. Oh, we just need to move it down a little bit and it'll be perfect. So we're gonna move that down. Move this down. This down too. Spooky dog, the hand eyeball and the ghost let's click on preview and hopefully it's perfect oh i forgot about the ghost ta-da look at how awesome that is mobile and the computer look at that perfect you see this fog this made everything so much better Watch, if we took it away, it'll look boring. Let's see. If 
I got rid of it, it's gonna look super boring. There. Now when we preview it, it looks boring. So there's this fog back. And that's my Halloween themed banner. So if you guys make your own Halloween banners, make sure you guys tweet them to me on Twitter and I'll make sure to like them and retweet it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash that like button. And if you guys want to purchase Photo Pro, make sure you guys use my code and you guys can get a percentage off and save money. So if you guys want to check out this website, the links will be in the description below with, with all the discount codes. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.